Shalom, family. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. You all are very much welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Banzil. This particular prophetic word title, as we all have already seen, Hallelujah, the Lord says, someone is so scared to confess what they did to you. Praise Master Jesus. I use this opportunity if you are coming across this channel for your first time, you're welcome. Hallelujah. It's your first time seeing my face, but not your first time hearing the word of God. I want to just beg that you should not just pass without clicking on the subscription button, liking this particular prophetic world. So by so doing, we are on social media. It might go viral in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is a particular prophetic world that I don't know if you'll be the one to forward it to, to someone or the person himself is hearing me. But at the end, let's do our possible best to share in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone and the end of that person is not that good. And the Lord is asking that person to confess. But the person is ashamed. Yeah, the person is afraid. The person is afraid, ashamed. The person is afraid and ashamed, scared that she will die. Yes, after confessing. This particular person has done a lot of things behind your back. This person has done a lot of things behind your back of which you, you don't know. And this person is right now ashamed and afraid that maybe after this particular confession, he will die. Hear me, people of God. There is something people don't know. Any confession you make, be it negative or positive, you're free. Hallelujah. So whenever you have any problem, no matter what you have done wrong, the, from the very first day, you, you go in front of the person you have wronged and confess openly to the person and ask for forgiveness. That instant, instantly you are free. If the person does not forgive you, that is the, the person problem. But you are free. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 10, for with the heart, man believe. Another version says one believe. And with the mouth, confession is made. So whenever you hear something, you believe from your heart. And with your mouth, confession will be made. So even if we want to make Jesus, even if we want to dedicate ourselves and accept Jesus, our Lord and personal Savior, there must be a confession that you make. Praise Master Jesus. Confessions are very powerful. A lot of us are living with a, with a lot of hidden secret. Any secret that you are hiding, hear me, you're a slave to that which you are hiding. A lot of us, after this live stream, we are going to look for a particular altar. We we'll kneel down and tell God, Father, we are sorry. After this particular prophetic word, we have a lot of people that we have wronged and offended them. That we are going to walk to them and tell them, brother, sister, we are sorry. When there is, there is power in secret. There, are, we, we, uh, the, there is what I say, uh, I call positive and negative powers. Anything that is in secret has power. It does not matter what is in secret. That is why the enemy operates in secret. Whenever you commit a crime and that crime is being hidden, like alone, nobody is aware, you become slave to it because it's in secret, nobody knows. But once it's been exposed, hear me, people of God, you are free. You are free. Very, very free. There is somebody watching me right now. There are times that you might be sick. You are passing through some type of things. And the doctors and families are busy carrying you here and there, visiting hospitals and a lot of places just for you to be healed. But meanwhile, you that you are sick, you know what is going on. You know. There are some healings that the uh, situation in life that does not need medication, injection, tablet or whatever. It only needs your confession. Hallelujah. Don't be ashamed of what people will tell you. Don't be ashamed about uh, uh, what they will tell you, what, how, how they will look at you, how they will see you. No, you don't need to be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Praise Master Jesus. I cannot be ashamed and die. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. The Bible says if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away. The old thing cannot go if you have not accepted him, if you have not let it go, if you have not confessed. Hallelujah. 
at times there are people that are seriously dying and going through some type of things. Whenever you go closer to them, ask them, there are secrets, there are things that if they are open, if they are opportune, they will tell you. But my prayer is that you should not be ashamed. Don't be afraid of anything. If you even, even if you confess and die, your soul is saved. The Bible says, heaven rejoice when one soul repent. So even if you are sick, they pray for you, you are healed, there is no joy in heaven. Joy only comes when repentance is being made. So if you are hearing me right now, you are on a sick bed and you don't feel okay. You are looking at somebody, you are unable to withstand and stand together with that person because of what you did. It does not matter. The altar you call the name of the person or, or the altar you took, the picture or whatsoever. The matter is that for you, hallelujah, to hear this word and make up your mind. Come back to Jesus. Rededicate yourself. Listen, when you confess and give your life to Jesus, you cannot die. But if you confess and give your life to other man, listen, there is no insurance. When you are accepting Jesus, Jesus Christ is like you paying your insurance to him. Anything that happened, he is responsible. I pray for somebody. You will not die in the name of Jesus. You will not become slave of sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has been limiting you, I break it right now. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.